have to. Such a beautiful day. Like, Are you staring directly at the sun? Yeah. No, I'm looking at the camera and oh. I, can, I cannot even see. Mm -hmm. We decided to go for a little walk around. Like the very first day it was at 60 degrees. I was about to say 70, I freaking wish. The hottest it's been in a very long time here. So we're eating it up completely. Don't you think? What's all this? <gasps> it's not a person, it's like a full city. <laughs> Yours are nothing compared to the ones I usually get. Babe, this was massive. I killed it. Mm. You see I have one coming right here. Somewhere right here. Yeah. It's and just started forming this also. morning. And by the way, hi, welcome to another vlog. I realized I didn't do like a quick little introduction. Hi. <laughs> We're gonna go get some coffee and then we go back home. A little pizza for dinner. We love Pagliacci's. We always do like a half and half, something that I want and half something that Juan wants. So I just got margarita and then Pagliacci's seasonal special is the Argentine. Well, one of the pizzas is. So we got half of the Argentine. Delicious. Thanks, babe. And we're gonna start the flight attendants today. We've heard good things. People watched it and said really good things about it, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we're excited to watch this. I'll let you know how it goes. Good afternoon. It's Sunday and a very rainy Sunday at that. I'm gonna stop the dryer. The dryer's very loud and I wanted to talk. <laughs> so it's Sunday and I've honestly just been super productive today. Well, at least trying to be since it is, like I said, rainy and so there's not a lot to do when it's just like pouring down rain outside, you know? So I have done like three loads of laundry. I've almost fully edited the Abercrombie haul video which will be going up before this video even goes up. So go check it out if you haven't already. I'm really excited for that video to go up. And I also, yesterday, no, Friday, Friday night, I didn't have a lot to do and I was just, randomly trying to find like something to watch on TV, like just nothing sounded good, you know? And then I stumbled across Scandal on Hulu and I was just like, yes, that's it. That's what we're gonna watch. I haven't watched Scandal in so long and this used to be my jam like back when it was actually on TV. So I started season one on Friday and I'm on season two, episode 10 already. So needless to say, I've been watching a lot of this this weekend alone. And that's what we're gonna continue to do. I also wanted to start this DIY art project that I've been putting off for a little bit now, but I have all the supplies out to try to force me to start it because I really want to do this. So essentially what I wanna do is, do you guys know like paper mache bowls? It's like a paper mache clay bowl and Restoration Hardware sells them. I know Etsy has them in a lot of other places, but they're anywhere from like $100 to $400 per bowl. And I'm just like, hell no. Like I can absolutely do this myself. I feel like I'm kind of crafty and kind of handy, you know? 
so I want to do it myself and see if I can do it. I'll put a picture on the screen of the bowls that I'm referring to so you can see. So that's my inspo. That's what I'm going to try to recreate and duplicate. So maybe I will just watch Scandal and do this at the same time. Got nothing else to do. And it looks like Oliver just woke up. He wants to say hi. Hi. Hi, maybe. But anyways, let me show you all the supplies I have and I can kind of just include the full DIY in this vlog if you guys are interested. And I'm kind of figuring out as I go, there are a couple of recipes that I've found. So I will link down below what I end up doing, all the ingredients, the portion sizes and all like that sort of stuff. So if you guys are interested in doing this yourself, hopefully this will help and it'll be fun to watch as well. Cross our fingers that the end result looks really, really good. <laughs> So here's my little workstation. I don't have a dining room table, so I'm just gonna put this in the middle of my living room. But I have a paper shredder because we're gonna need to shred a ton of paper. I have mixing bowls. I have glue. I have joint compound because you're gonna need that. I have some saran wrap that I'm gonna use to put around these bowls. So these two bowls are gonna be my molds and what I'm gonna use to essentially make the bowl, right? And then in here is some other stuff that I might need, just like a bunch of different colored beiges and browns and whites. And then I thought that the recipe might call for baby oil, so I got that as well, but oh, there's a brush down there too. There's other things that I might need too that's not out here, like a milk bag, you know, to squeeze out excess water um, out of, and then probably like a blender. Focus, okay. And I'll make sure I'm including clips of everything so you can guys see it all. But these are just some of the ingredients that I have out and ready to go. So I guess I'm gonna put play again on Scandal and let's go ahead and get on into it then. Okay, so we're finally at the next stage. That took a while. I actually ended up not shredding enough paper, so I had to like do it twice. But once you get to the rhythm, it's not so bad. So this is about, I think, nine cups of wet paper. So that's pretty good. I'm not really gonna measure this as much. It's supposed to be like a half cup-ish. And this is just flour. Cup of glue. This is gonna be really messy. <laughs> Thank you. 
So I ended up pulling out a bunch of different like bowl molds because I didn't know what size I wanted to do. And I think ultimately I want to do this all, but I don't know if I'm going to have enough paper mache to do this all. I'm just going to start with like this medium sized bowl, see how much is left over after doing it, and then decide from there what bowl I'm going to do next. But yeah, ultimately I want to do all this and then maybe like a vase or something too. I thought that would be really fun. So let's see. How do we do this? now a couple of days later and I wanted to give you guys an update on how the bowls are doing. It's taking a lot longer than what I thought to dry. So let me turn you around. So I ended up doing three bowls, this little vase, and then this little whatever catch-all is what it's gonna be that was just like left over. But essentially on the day that I filmed, I ended up doing this bowl, this bowl, and this little thing because it was left over. And then the next day I ended up doing the big bowl and the vase. So I think in total, this was about 28 cups of paper, like wet paper. I kind of went above and beyond. <laughs> I don't know. I just had like so many ideas of what I wanted to do because I wanted to do like a plain bowl. I wanted a bowl like this that had like a little bit of a lip. And then all of them I added like bases to them too. But then this one is like more indented and I thought that was really cool. And then this one, you kind of have to like trust the process and I have an idea in mind of how like I want it to end up. So we'll see if it ends up working out that way. All of like the original bowls are all still in this, like the mold, right? These have been drying a day longer than the other ones and they're still kind of wet. I'm thinking like tomorrow I might be able to flip them, take the bowl out and let the inside of it dry. You obviously want it dried before you start painting and before you start moving it too because you don't want it to like fall apart on you. So anyway, that's the current status of that. This is pretty much gonna be turned into a week in my life because I don't wanna end the vlog without showing you the finished product of these and what they look like. So I'll probably start to talk about these again when I'm ready to paint them, but this is kind of where we're at. So it's currently after 5.30 now. It's actually almost six o'clock. It's 5.40. And so I think that I'm gonna film a night vlog. I haven't done like a night in my life in forever. I think I've only done it once ever. But before we do that, I am actually getting ready to sell my car tomorrow. So I need to clean out my car fully and yeah so let's just get in my car and i can chat a little bit more about that too my camera is dying so i need to change out this battery and then we'll head down to my car i honestly cannot believe that this is my last day with this car it's kind of insane to me so for those that are new i said it a few vlogs ago but my current lease this is a leased vehicle the lease is ending in a couple of weeks i'm gearing up to accept delivery of my new car tomorrow which i'm really excited about and that's going to be in a separate vlog as well so stay tuned for when I reveal what my new car is but um before I accept delivery of that or I guess it's independent of one another <laughs> but I'm getting ready to sell this car tomorrow I'm actually really excited about it too because I don't know if you guys have ever heard of the company shift but they buy and sell cars and they're like an e-commerce website and they have like an app and stuff so they make buying and selling cars like really easy 
and they recently i think in the last year launched in the seattle area they're a san francisco based company they're gonna come to my house and check out my car and just take the keys from me and everything juan if you guys remember he recently bought a mazda so he actually went through and bought the mazda but he needed to sell his car too and it was a leased vehicle and he ended up going through shift as well i'm really excited to go through shift because i don't feel like there are a lot of opportunities with a leased vehicle that you make some sort of profit because if you've done a lease before there's obviously a residual value and so your buyout amount and what the trade-in value is has to either equal out or get some sort of profit in order to do that instead of just like returning the lease back to the leasing company you know but luckily in my case and in Juan's case as well the value of these cars have held really well throughout the years and so my residual value is pretty low compared to what the trade-in value is going to be so I'm actually going to end up seeing a profit which I'm really excited about so I'm going that route with this car and yeah that's pretty much that but yeah they're coming tomorrow morning and so I need to just clean up this car a little bit they don't require it by any means but I for sure like need to clean it out and get a bunch of just like this shit that I have in my car. Take the mount down and then I have like a toll pass on my car too. And then while I'm at it, I was just like gonna dust it a little bit and vacuum it. Not go overboard, but I want it to be in fairly good condition when they come check it out so that I can get the maximum value that they estimated. Obviously, I don't think a dirty car is really gonna impact that at all, but I wanna make sure it looks good. So anyways, let's start cleaning and yeah, I'm excited for my new car. Ah! I felt like Christmas morning when I woke up. I thought it was today and it wasn't and I was devastated. <laughs> About to leave, already packing. Come with me, I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't know. a little tip if your car if your car seats are perforated like this if you hit it a lot of like the dust and dirt that's stuck in the little holes will come out so that's why i'm hitting it if you guys are curious <laughs> here again to paint all of the bowls so what you would have seen is I just painted all of them just like a basic matte or flat white I had left over like ceiling paint so I just went ahead and took that to this just to make it like a plain canvas the color before because the paper was kind of bluish so I wanted to just neutralize it out a little bit more right now I just have like a ton of different like pink colors down here and I'm starting to I don't know make like little concoctions or see like if I mix this color with that color what it would end up looking like I think I'm going to start with this as like my tester <laughs> before committing to the bigger bowls to see what I want it to look like I'm pretty much just going to do like a stippling motion on it um, and go from there I want to create like a lot of depth and a lot of texture with some colors and stuff like that and also all of these it took like a solid week for them to dry so i remember last checking in when it was a couple days in and it was still wet so i ended up waiting like another day or so to take the bowls out of the inside like the mold and then i tipped it upright like this to let the inside of it dry and then i had to tip it like this on its side to make sure like in here was drying as well so yeah, it took like a solid week, a lot longer than I thought it was going to take. Not in any rush, but just want to set expectations for you guys. So try to make some sort of paint concoction here and get started. 
So I think, what color was that? So I'm gonna take the Folk Art brand in linen. And this is, I think, a matte color. I wanted the bowls to be very matte. So this is a nice, pretty, neutral color. That's what this color looks like. And then I'm gonna try to take some vintage white from the same brand to mix into it, I think. Actually, that color's pretty on its own. Let's see what it looks like before I do all that. Oh yeah, that's pretty dark. That's what that color looks like. But that actually might be a good base. Let's see. Okay, let's see this. I just took a little of vintage white with the linen color. Yeah, that's a super pretty color too. Very beigey. Let's see if I take that color. That's pretty. Okay, well, I'm just gonna experiment and stipple this on. It's kind of like what I'm doing on the sides. That looks a lot better than going like full solid in the inside. See, just a little trial and error to figure it out. There, that's the first pass at the inside of this bowl. So, we'll see how it dries and I'll continue with adding layers. It's the next day and I wanted to show you the final product, the finished result of these DIY restoration hardware paper mache bowls. So this one, I'm obsessed with how it turned out. This one's a pretty good dupe for one at Studio McGee. That's like $128. So the fact that I made it for less is insane. It has like a little crack in it from the paper mache, but I think that it kind of just like adds to the detail. So I love it so much. And then these are the three other bowls. So you can see that I pretty much made them all like the same color. This one has slightly different colors than these ones, but you can see the detail is kind of incredible in these. Kind of giving myself a pat on the back there, I guess. Okay, I went over to the other side of the kitchen to see if it was like a little bit brighter. For some reason, it's looking kind of dark but I wanted you guys to see the details of these. So yeah, I'm so obsessed with how these turned out and very happy about it. So these are the colors that I ended up primarily using. I used these two from Craft Smart. I just got these from Michaels, but I used tan, suede, vintage white, and linen. So primarily it was these two on their own and then I used this with this one to create a little bit lighter of a color and then this and this one to create a lighter color as well. This for that bowl and then this combination for all the others. And a little trick that I learned is just stipple very lightly, like not a lot of paint at a time. And for drying, it was fairly fast. So I was able to complete this all last night and it dried like almost immediately too. So I'm super happy with how these turned out. Hopefully you guys like them as well. And again, I'll make sure I'm linking everything down below for you guys, all the supplies, all the details. But if you guys end up trying this, let me know. I would love to see the results of them. Tag me, send me a picture, whatever it may be. I want to see it. But overall, I don't think this process was all that bad. It was kind of time consuming at the very beginning, but mostly it was just like waiting for the paper mache to dry itself. So super happy with it. Juan and I, Juan's here and he's getting ready and we're about to head out the door, enjoy our Sunday. So I just wanted to end up the vlog showing you the final product of the bowls, yay. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this vlog and I'll see you in a couple days in the next one. Bye guys, love you. Bye.